Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi effects effects rack in Reaper. So, the project in front of me here, let's say I want to add multiple effects to this first track. We go up here to the effects button and click it. And then we choose our effects. Let's say we want to use a gate. We'll use the Rea Gate plugin. And after that gate, let's say we want to add an EQ. We could use Rea Q, maybe as a filter. So we can remove the bands, except for one, change it to a high pass, and set it to just filter out the low end. Now let's say we want to add a compressor. We'll go to Recomp. We'll set this up with a higher ratio, bring down the threshold, our attack, our release. And then finally, we want to add another EQ. Go back to EQ. But this time, we're going to use it to boost the mid range and the top end using a high shelf. But one of the problems with this is it's harder to work with all the effects at the same time. If you want to adjust our gate and our filter and our compressor and the other EQ, we have to do them one at a time, unless we float them. So we can double click our gate, it floats that plugin. Let's do the same thing with our filter, our compressor, and the last EQ. Then we can close this window and set this up how we like. Our gate, our filter, our compressor, and the final EQ. And when it's laid out like this, it's a lot easier to tweak all of them at the same time. Just go over here, adjust the attack on our gate, adjust the EQ, adjust the filter without opening or closing any windows. Now we could save this as a screen set, but there are limitations to doing it that way. Let's check out this better way that I found. Because what happens now, if I close these windows and open it back up right here, it opens back up to this. We lost the effects rack that we set up. So let me show you how I prefer to do this. Let's close this. Let's go to our actions list. Under actions, choose action list. I'm going to create a custom action right down here. Hit new. Then in our filter, type in open, close. And we'll scroll down to the bottom. There's a few actions down here that if we add to a custom action, they'll all play at the same time. Open, close, user interface for effects one through eight. Let's add all of them to this side, which will create a custom action. And one of the nice things about this is even if we're not using eight effects, this custom action is still going to work perfectly whether we use one or many effects. Then we'll name this Open Close All Effects, save it, and add a keystroke to this custom action we just created. Right down here, I'm going to choose Command F, but choose any keystroke that you prefer. And now if we close this and select our track and hit that keystroke, it opens up the effects on that track, but it still opens up in this window instead of that nice layout that we set up, unless we change one preference. Let's go to our preferences, under options, preferences, and scroll down to plugins. Then we can choose right over here auto float newly created effects windows. What well, that's going to do is going to float all the effects windows that we open up. Hit OK. And now let's hit that keystroke after selecting this track. And check out what happens. We get that layout that we set up, our multi effects effects rack. And if we hit the keystroke again, it closes it. So it toggles it open and close, all with one keystroke. So we could tweak the threshold on the gate, our filter, our compressor, or this final 
EQ with all the windows opening at the same time. And again, we can close it with the same keystroke. Let's do the same thing for this track. Let's open up an effects chain, one that I saved over here called Rocket Multiband Compressor. This is an effects chain I created using a splitter to split the frequencies into three sections. Then I created a different compressor for the lows, mids, and highs, and then a mixer to mix it all back together. Basically creating a crossover and then putting it back together after each band is separately compressed. But I don't want to work with it like this. So I can fold them by double clicking them all and just arrange them. Let's put the highs down here, the mids over here, the lows up here. I'll put my crossover or my splitter over here and make it look exactly how I want. And the final mixer can go right here. So with this window set up like this, I could tweak my lows, my mids, my highs, my crossover, and my mixer all in one place. And because I set it up in my preferences to auto float newly created effects windows, I could just close it with that keystroke and open it back up. It'll open exactly how we left it. We can go back to this track, and that track still looks the same. So we could do this on any track in our project, including the master track. Let's view our master track right here. Let's add some effects to that. I have an effects chain right here called master chain. Let's set this up. I have my channel strip first, then my glue compressor. Second, then a multi band Reax compressor. Third, and then finally, an event horizon limiter. So, that set up like this, I can tweak my first compressor, my glue compressor, my multi band right here, or my final clipper or limiter. And it's going to save exactly how I set this up. So, when I close it with that keystroke, I can open it back up. Just by choosing it again, and it opens back up exactly how we left it. And if I move it around, it's going to save it that way. So it's constantly saving where we left off. Close it, open it back up. It's exactly how we left it. Same for this track and this track. It's kind of nice seeing all your plugins on each track with just one click. And it also saves with your project. So if we save it, save project as, I'm going to name it multi effects rack. Then if I close it and open it back up again, I could just choose this track, hit the keystroke, it opens back up just how we left it. Same with this track. And my master track, which is a lot quicker than resetting it up each time. And can be more useful than clicking this and going from one effect at a time when you have multiple effects on the same track. So, anyway, that's creating a multi effects effects rack in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>